What is up everyone? Mini Tech Mommy here, back again with a, another video. And today I have a pretty simple job to do while I'm waiting for the remaining parts of my 6.0 swapped El Camino build to come in. <laughs> while I'm waiting for the parts to come in, we're going to be dropping the fuel tank, which if you look underneath, it's going to be just a couple straps with two to four bolts holding it on. It's gonna be a long bolt and a nut. Um, and I believe they're all size 13 millimeter or half inch in standard size. So we're gonna go ahead and get that gas tank off because we need to change and actually install a fuel pump on there because on the 305, it had an internal fuel pump. So technically this car now has no way to pump the fuel until we buy one and install one. We ordered a fuel pump for a 4.3 fuel injected El Camino from Jigs and it is on the way. So hopefully you guys will get to see that video ASAP. But for now, everything looks great. I decided that I'm going to be going along to Hunters. So I'm gonna have to order a floor shifter kit which is really easy to install so that's going to be another video to look out for the swap today i actually have to wait on the transmission cross member until i install the shifter kit but this is a simple job let's get started hold on you want to hand me the jack oh okay. I got it. And if you want to be really safe, put a jack stand under it. Or a mobile into it. So as you can see, these are basically, they seem like metal straps. These are basically the straps holding on the gas tank. I'm going to start with these back ones. Anyways, these bolts are 13 millimeter and there should be four bolts holding the straps. Two on each strap. One that goes... One up here and one down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Did you have your safety glasses on your head, babe? Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that was a bitch. Now I gotta go to the other side. And then the gas tank, I just wanna try out what. Alright, turns off. You must be going to whole shops to do what I can do in my backyard. Tell them to hit me up. Did any fuel even come out? Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, let's pull her out. <laughs> Make sure that's not catching on anything, the neck. I need to go back this way. It is catching on. Here, I got you. Move it. Oh, hold on. Yeah, We're just, we just need to take the gas cap off. Oh, I just broke the gas cap, so. Oh. 
it broke from it being ripped off. Look. Okay. Hold on, I'm not sticking my hand in there. Where's a pl where's pry where's a pry bar? Hold on. Oh. It's a big boom bang. See the gas cap? We'll have to get some pliers or something and get that out. There you go. What's up, you guys? And we are back. Um, today I'm going to be changing out the fuel pump and setting unit on my 1987 Chevy El Camino. Now, I have the old setting unit on the fuel tank, which I still need to remove, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove that. Um, but first off, let me explain you guys what the heck I'm holding in my hands. So, right here is a setting unit for a 4.3 V6 version of the same El Camino that I have. All right, so we have our entryway into the fuel tank with our fuel pump mounting on a hose down here. Now, what you what you really want to do is get a push lock line, but it also includes these clamps. If you don't, um, my sending unit is a little. The base of the sending unit is a little off so i need to get a longer hose um so we're gonna go take a little trip to our zone today all right so if you're looking at it this way we have our feed line on the right we have our return in the middle so that's gonna be easy to remember and then we have this line and this pretty much protects you in case the whole car flips over so you don't have gas dripping out everywhere um we're going to have to make a breather for this line and we're probably gonna route it somewhere in the bed um not gonna be too secretive about it we're gonna route it as far up as possible so just in case anything does happen so this connector right here which is outside of this in the unit this one is to connect the actual fuel pump to the sending unit now <laughs> in the kit you get a bunch of nice little parts um, you get a new little like clip ring, snap ring. I don't know if that one's going to fit, is it? Yeah, it goes on the middle, yeah. And then you get a new O-ring um, right here. This little contraption is your float level. And <clears throat> you just want to put this on. You want to line it in the middle. Line it up. So it goes all the way in and snap it into place and there your float is ready um so basically what you can do is if you can cut both of these lines and attach them so that's i'll pretty much show you guys how to cut and splice this um but we need to run to AutoZone and get a new piece of pipe because this is not going to work and all right what's up you guys and we are back so next thing we are going to do is take off our old sending unit so the way to get this um little like snapping ring off is to get a screwdriver or a pry bar and you want to see <clears throat> you can see these little tabs right here if you zoom in um this tab right here this tab right here what you want to do is put your little pry bar now that I have enough room, I'm gonna go like that. And you pretty much get your hammer and tap on it. See it move? Oh, it moved a whole lot right there. There we go. You got it. <coughs> hey, we saw a lot of gas in that there. That 91. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> oh. Wow. 
Oh. Ain't no cheap gas ran through here though. What you want to do is though, we want to pour it out. And now we want to suck everything up. So we gotta go get the vacuum. Nah, you're chilling. Yes. You Why? don't want to suck anything new up into the new filter and the new fuel pump. So, let's go ahead and take this out. Be hot. Look at that Basically, thing. Basically, all we had was a filter. Yeah, that's with it. A, with the feed. And then the level. And, and the that's level. it. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to pretty much put on the fuel pump um, onto the new sending unit. So we already have our hose on. I went and got an extended hose from AutoZone. Um, my freaking boyfriend wanted to put it on and test fit it. And of course, it got stuck on. That's why he needs to listen to me. But... Now, I'm going to be sliding the clamps onto this hose. Is it this one or the other one? This one. That's open. So, I'm going to slide this one up and on. Where's my screwdriver? And you're going to want to tighten it. Alright, so now we're going to tighten this one up. Going to slide it up a little bit. So we have our hose on that side, and let's go ahead and slide this clamp on. Um, by the way, we are we already vacuumed out around the gas tank. We're just gonna go ahead and send it. If you want, you can clean out the whole gas tank. Be all professional about it. I'm not. My homie's done swaps like this. And has not cleaned out the gas tank for a lot of his builds, so I don't see a reason to do mine. Alright, so put on the second one. We're going to slide our fuel pump on. And now we also have this little rubber uh little, this little rubber seal so what you want to do is you want to see these little four prongs put it on the fuel pump see like that why are you sharpening wood adam I zoomed in on him, man. <laughs> It's like one is one little thread is stripped. After that, you'll be good. See? Oh. It's like one spot is stripped, and after that, you're chilling. It's kind of stupid. You want to put your uh, hose clamps at the base, but not too far down. Just kind of like in the middle, where you know it's gripping the base, it's gripping the plastic underneath. Tighten it as tight as it'll let you tight. And Chevy Tire Slayer. Chevy Tire Slayer Slayer's words. Yeah. Can't even say my name right. What? Well, you want me uh, to crank down on it? No. Okay. 
No. All right. So, got our float here. Now, what we need to do is connect these two wires. We have positive, or we have negative, and then we have positive wire, which is black is negative, uh, red is positive. So, what we need to do is basically take off this connector and um, connect this black line with this red line, and then we'll be ready to drop this fuel pump in. Yeah, so now we're gonna be cutting the wires and splicing them. Let's not cut them too short in case I mess up. Snip. <laughs> Did it break? So pretty much now we need to connect this wire to this wire. Ouch. Ooh, that hurt. That's how it is. So how am I gonna show? Now you use the other wires to splice them. Then? No, I like these. Let's oh, okay. Set. <laughs> Don't do that. Here we go. And. Crimp it, and then we're gonna take this shit away, and we're gonna take it away and make it waterproof or weatherproof. I don't think it's completely waterproof, but I'm using the best connectors. Like, now just do the black wires, and you'll be chilling. Well, like he said, now just do the black wires, and we will be chilling. My friggin'. Sure, it's not too short. <laughs> Just peel it off at this point. Easy. Okay, there we go. Ow. Fuck this 305. Sorry to say on video. Pardon my French, but yeah. 305, nothing but prom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, never gave us problem. It really didn't. Until oh. we took it to the desert. <laughs> I know, until we took it to the desert. It's expected. There you go. That's good. All right, so next, the last step before you put this inside of your fuel tank is you want to connect the filter. All right, so now we're gonna put the filter on. is in make sure you have o-ring on and you have your new little snap ring place the o-ring down in there and now we're gonna put our fuel pump inside Ooh, let's move on in Ooh.
have to go back this way. All right. <laughs> So yeah, there we go, have our new connector on there, and I'm going to get the fuel tank back in the car, we're going to go get some fuel lines and we will continue this project, I'll show you guys how to route the fuel lines to the engine because right now we do not have a route for the fuel tank to reach our 60. So we're gonna have to go get some custom lines. We're gonna get push lock lines for the entire fuel system around 16 feet. We're gonna have to go and buy that and I'll see you guys back here. I'm gonna get this fuel tank in, plug up all the connectors, all the sensors and will have the fuel system finally going good. So, um, thank you for watching this video.